Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This week's video uh, is kind of the same as last week's where I'm kind of out of it and I don't really want to draw. Uh, but the good thing is that I've committed to this YouTube channel so I have no choice. I have to draw something so I decided to draw another panel uh, for Nettle and the Hush Hush. This one's pretty simple now because I already established the colors and the characters in the last one so this one's pretty quick and easy. Um, it's just uh, Nettle trying to get away from Cat and Cat really following. Um, the next panels will probably be a lot more interesting than this one. Um, this one is just... I decided to draw it like this like pretty flat because I kind of really want to animate it I'm not an animator but I found this program called um, what was it spine and you basically have a 2d drawing and you split it up into layers where you can kind of move the limbs and then you make a skeleton in the in the program and then you can animate it and I thought this was would be hilarious to animate um, so that's kind of what I want to play around with this weekend, so it's kind of a motivation behind it. Uh, and I think it's going to be really fun. Um, but as, as I said, this one's pretty simple, uh, just side, side view. Uh, I have all the colors and everything from before. So, I thought I would just walk you through the process of the drawing, uh, since it's that simple. Uh, this one took me two and a half hours, I think. I was also pretty lucky with finding a background photo, which suited the colors and the perspective so I didn't have to do too much in the background <laughs> Shh. Um, but yeah as you saw in the beginning I just um, started thumbnailing and I knew kind of the poses that I want for the cat and, and nettle they're really simple so they're just like sideways and then started sketching like where they were um, crossing like the street and um, yeah, having this big sit in the background. Um, then I start to refine the the cat and nettle because they're very very rough in the rough sketch. Then I sketch a little bit clean, cleaner just because I want to have it as clean as possible before I go into line art. And then when I have that done, I do the line art. Um, this time I tried a little bit different uh, brush, which I kind of didn't like for this one, so I might redraw it with a different brush. Um, but pretty simple just doing um, line art and then I quickly block in the colors Wait, I probably should wait till, till you guys have it on the screen um, oh yeah I kind of had to tweak her a little bit because for some reason she didn't look like herself like you know when you draw a character once and you try to draw again then they don't look the same so I usually try to find another picture of the same character but from a different angle, put it right next to the character, and then see how like the, how big is the head, how long is the torso, how long is the jacket in this case, how big is the boots, just to get the, the similarities uh, closer. So that's the trick if you want if you if you're struggling with that, like just have it in the same scale right next to the one that you're drawing. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, I oh no I'm uh, cleaning up the line art again oh there we go I'm blocking in the colors um, just really quickly um, all in the same layer because I already blocked in the colors for the previous one so pretty easy um, and then I'll add some shading and then I have a trick where I have the shading on a separate layer like flat hard one color and I put it to multiply. And then for another layer, for like a highlight layer, kind of just to make them blend a little bit in with the environment, I add like, I picked a light color from the background, it could be a dark color as well, and then I have a soft brush and I just brush it over uh, the characters and just like create this kind of like highlight feeling. Um, but then I put that to overlay and I select the shading layer. And I delete what's on the shading layer from the overlay layer. If you, I have to show you probably. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to explain. But what it does is that it kind of lights up 
gradient over the colors where the light hits and not on the dark so it doesn't mess with the, like your shadows and thing it just makes the, um, the other colors have a gradient which makes it kind of like fit in mine more i think um so that's a little bit of the trick if you're struggling to make your characters look like they're in the environment that you put in or in the background um so that's a pretty pretty quick tip um okay so i'm slowly uh getting to the end of this video um i if you've watched this far thank you i've been rambling a lot uh i tend to do that i will do tutorials and show you guys things that i talked about um um, but yeah, before I go, I just really want to say that I will be live streaming on Sunday. Um, it will be traditional art, and if you book your little calendar, you will know when I'm on, and then you can join me if you really want to join me. That would be really cool. Um, I'll probably send out notifications on social media, and I hope you can see you guys there. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video uh, of Nettle and the Hush Hush and um, like it if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye bye.